Hello everybody. Let me deliver a small lecture about chronic kidney disease, how to understand and how to use that concept. Chronic kidney disease is an overdiagnosis, means we'll put it over our main diagnosis. It's not a surprise for you. We can find the same condition in case of respiratory system diseases like pneumonia, bronchitis. At the end of our diagnosis, we will establish respiratory failure. At the end of the cardiovascular diagnosis, we will establish heart failure according to NIHA classification by functional classes. And after kidney disease, we will establish CKD. If patient has structural disease, like cyst, uh, doubling, uh, dystopia, stones, CKD will be established. Chronic inflammatory damage, pelonephritis, glomerulonephritis, CKD will be established. If patient has some changes in urine analysis, like leukocytorrhea, hematuria, proteinuria, um, crystalluria, bacteriuria, we will establish during three months, we will establish CKD or just decreased level of glomerular filtration rate less than 60 during three months, CKD will be established too. Classification of CKD includes two, two part, parts, albuminuria, according level of albuminuria and according uh, estimate level of glomerular filtration rate. Here you can find a um, little bit strange number, 1.73 square meters. It is uh, counted patient's body square, just relatively relatively, uh, approximately, I'm sorry. Uh, as you can see, categories G1, G2, G3, A, G3B, G4, G5, and A1, A2, and A3. How to evaluate glomerular filtration rate? It's quite easy to do. We can use mobile applications, online, uh, calculators. We need to have creatine level, gender, race, and age. Uh, in the current moment, we are using CKD API formula. Sometimes, if it's available, we can use <coughs> cystatin C formula, formula because cystatin C is substance which will be uh, thrown out only by kidneys. Um, and uh, sometimes it's necessary to compare with GFR by creatinine level and cystatin C. And it may have a, may help us to get more accurate results. That is a calculator, online calculator. As you can see, I have put here creatine level, age, gender, race, calculated, and I get a result. According to that result, patient has CKD3B. G3B. And let's train to, uh, to, to write down a few diagnoses how to use CKD. Patient, uh, patient uh, comes us with investigation and in that investigation has been found cyst of the left kidney. We will write it down. It would be good if we will put uh, diameter of that cyst. CKD according uh, estimated glomerular filtration rate 91, it's normal value, but structural damage is present. G1 will be established. I'm sorry, uh, it's a mistake. Uh, it should be G, not C. G1. If patient, in that example, patient has been suffering uh, from uh, urinary infection, for example, five years, he will come to you with uh, that problem. You will put that diagnosis, calculate glomerular filtration rate, and put CKD G3A according level of GFR. And finally, example, even if patient do doesn't have any kidney problems, I mean, he is not suffering from kidney diseases, but he has high blood pressure and every patient with high blood pressure uh, should be examined by 
the middle filtration rate volume. And we have found that patient has CKD because he is high blood pressure, damaged kidneys. 29 according classification as I uh, shown recently. It is G4 stage. And of course we shouldn't forget about microalbuminuria. Uh, each patient here should be examined uh, according to microalbuminuria. Uh, for example, in that case, highly likely will be A3 stage because high blood pressure leads to albuminuria. But of course we cannot use uh, highly likely uh, information. We need to have facts. We need to provide that examination by, by microalbuminuria. Why should we use CKD? Uh, may be used for expert tasks to determine degree of damage of the urinary system. We can find some indications for disability, transplantation, or dialysis, etc. We will correct our treatment strategy. We will tell for patient if he will not stop, stop smoke, your kidneys will broke down, will, uh, will be broken down. Uh, if you will not control your blood pressure, the same condition, etc. Other factors. Next correction, correction of our treatment tactics means uh, short term uh, prediction. We need to avoid complications or to avoid complication of our treatment, to decrease dosage of medicine, to cancel some medicine which are prohibited you know, for patients with uh, kidney diseases, etc. And objectivization of, the, oh, of our treatment goals means um, we can easily control that value. We can explain for patient you has decreased level you have decreased level of glomerular filtration rate. You have to do something and you can calculate it on self. Just make an analysis and co count it using online calculator and patient will know what should he do and what uh, how can he uh, improve his prognosis. And for us it's easy because we will, uh, according to glomerular filtration rate, we will understand is our treatment good or we should change something. I hope my lecture was valuable for you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.